So in this video I'm going to show you how to use Topaz Lens Effects which is some special software just for creating um, specific lens effects on an image and it can create the shallow depth of field effect that we've been looking at in the previous videos. Um, so what we're going to try and do is make it so that this Duracell battery in this image is in focus while there's a shallow depth of field so these batteries near the back and near the front here are going to be out of focus. So I've already shown a couple of ways you, oh no, actually with this image it's one way that you can do it in Photoshop quite basically. Um, so with Topaz Lens Effects it provides a more advanced and more realistic way of achieving the same shallow depth of field effect. So if we go up to Filter, Topaz Labs, and then Topaz Lens Effects. Obviously you need to have the Topaz Lens Effects plugin already installed. Um, and you can get a free demo from the Topaz Labs website. I'll put a link in the description. So the first thing we need to do is over here on the left under Effects we want to do Bokeh Selective. And then if we go to you can see at the moment it's just blurred the whole image. If we go to Edit Depth Map, and then what the depth map is, is it's um, black on the image indicates very close to the camera, and white indicates far away from the camera, and then grey obviously indicates somewhere in between. So with the depth map that we've got at the moment, it's obviously not correct. Um, this area up here, we don't want to be very close to the camera. So what we can try to do, first of all, is if we click on Reset here, it will reset the mask. And if we click on Use a Gradient Brush, and we've got our gradient starting from black, so that's close to white, so that's far away. And then we've got our brush size control here, so I'm just going to put that up really large. And then we can try drawing a gradient up. And again. And again. Um, now the Topaz software, it uses um, sort of intelligent detection. As you can see, it's um, automatically made this battery here white far away when actually it should be close and that sort of thing. So for this image it doesn't work very well. So what we're going to do is um, cancel out of the Topaz lens effects and we're going to create a manual gradient in Photoshop just to use as a base for the mask. So I'm going to go to gradient up here Double click on this, want a black to white gradient. And I'm just going to pull the um, pointers here in a bit. So we've got a bit of solid black at the bottom and some solid white at the top with the transition between the two in the middle. OK on that and OK on that. Um, if you don't have access to um, gradient adjustment layers, you can just create a new layer and use the gradient tool to draw a gradient on a layer and then save that. So what we need to do now is save this Just go here. you can see I've already um, done, done this before so I knew, knew that the um, gradient tool wasn't going to work so I'm just going to save that as gradient it needs to be a TIFF file for Topaz Lens Effects to load it. I'm going to press save there. Let's use a flat file, flat TIFF file. Okay, we can get, get rid of that. Let's just um, duplicate the background so that we're not working on an original copy of the image. And we go up to filter, Topaz Labs, Topaz Lens Effects. And then down in the menu here, it's got Load Mask, so I'm going to click on that, select our gradient, open, go back over to Edit Depth Map, and you can see we've got our nice gradient here. 
So we can preview the um, effect of this now. If we go to focal plane adjustments and add some blur. You can see that at the moment the um, focus point is isn't quite right. Uh, let's just put the move the focal plane to the middle. So that's um, you know, it's giving a reasonable effect, but it's not very realistic. If you look, the bottom of that battery is quite in focus, and then the top is quite out of focus, which isn't particularly realistic because all that each single battery should be in the same plane of focus. So if we go back to edit depth map and now what we need to do is we need to paint the depth onto our batteries. It's gone in a bit too much there. Just pressing control and minus and control and plus on the keyboard to zoom in and out and holding down the space bar to click and drag. Now we've got the green color dropper tool here. I'm just going to click on that click near the base of this battery to sample a colour because the battery should be in the same focus plane as it is at the base of the battery and then I'm just going to paint over the battery with this brush and after a bit you'll see the um, software automatically works out the um, outline of the battery. Right, so it took a while for it to work out that first brush stroke but it's done that now. So I'm going to click on the sampler again and just click next to the base of this next battery. Sample the colour there. It's going to zoom in a bit more reduce the brush size and it's going to paint this battery this color I'm just clicking near the edges here where it's not quite right there we go just clean up this um, battery a bit as well. There we go. And then move on to the next battery. Same thing, click near the base of it with the color sampler. And then Paint over the battery with the colour that we want and then clean up any problem bits. Let's just go back to this battery because it's um, changed a little bit here. And then it's just a case of um, going along to the next battery and doing the same thing. So I'm probably just going to keep on recording, but I'll probably speed up the video here. Right, so I've um, finished working on the mask on the um, depth map now. So we've got all the batteries there from nearest is black and the furthest away is white. So that will work as our depth map. So we can close out of the depth map now. Go to the focal plane adjustments. And up here I'm just going to switch back to um, single screen view. Um, click on select focal plane and then we'll click on our battery here and it will select the focal plane that this battery is in that we've painted it into 
and the background blur amount we can increase that or decrease it to affect how blurry the background is same thing with the foreground as well just going to increase that a little bit uh, depth of field affects um, how much is in focus here so it's just a case of playing around with these sliders really until you get the effect that you like increase that slightly and decrease that slightly maybe there we go so I, that looks okay to me so when you're finished um, working on it you can just hit OK down here and then it will apply the effect and go back into Photoshop or if you're using the Lightroom plugin it will go back into Lightroom or whatever program you're using so you just have to wait for a minute while it processes the image so you can see that's the original image and then that's with our depth of field applied and you can see it's done a good job at creating a realistic shallow depth of field.